Well, give me the gory details. You want the gory details? Yeah. All the gory details. Tell her all the gory details, you snake. Here are the gory details. Not the gory details. Gory detail with what you speak. I'll call you later with all the gory details. All right, just give me the gory details. With all the gory details. Don't have to recount all the gory details. They're not wanting to hear the gory details, I guess. Spare me. Spare me. I not a lover's quarrel, pal. Spare me. Spare me the fucking details.
Oh boy. Ugh, it gets kind of cramped in that coffin down there. Oh hey, that's me. Let's get gory. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, guys and ghouls, ghosts and goblins. If you're new here, hi, my name is Sean Gory and I'll spare you the gory details. I'm dead excited to be here with y'all. Holy dice. <laughs> I'm dead excited to be here with you all this evening for Thriller Thursday, where we are jumping right back into Dungeons and Dragons, picking up on our Tyranny of Dragons campaign. Tyranny of Dragons is like this two-part mini-series, basically, where it's almost like the Avengers, like, um, Infinity War and Endgame. Right now, we're in the second half. We're in Endgame. We're in what's called, the first is called, um, Horde of the Dragon Queen, and now it's the rise of Tiamat. Um, we're trying to prevent the apocalypse, basically, so that's happening. Uh, but yeah, that's what's going on here. So before I go any further, you might notice above my head, there's this giant blue donation bar and progress tracker for this event coming up on November 5th? November 5th, um, called Extra Life. It's a 24-hour charity gaming marathon. We're going to play games for an entire day, and it helps raise funds for sick and injured kids in the Children's Miracle... I almost just swallowed that word. The Children's Miracle Network Hospitals. It's uh, absolutely free. Uh, all donations are tax-deductible, and um, it's pretty great. You get to play games for a whole day. Uh, besides being huge advocates for, of course, physical treatments, you know, treating childhood cancer, leukemia, the common cold, the flu, broken bones, burns, stuff like that. The Children's Miracle Network Hospitals are huge supporters of mental health, uh, the LGBT plus community, um, even premature babies in like the NICU that are born the size of a cell phone. I mean, they don't make diapers that small, but it's pretty incredible. In fact, a dollar can go towards an isolate on one of those little boxes that a, a NICU baby or a premature baby might have to be sort of not raised in, but kind of kept in during those crucial early months of their development, which is pretty incredible. So if you are a gamer or a gaming enthusiast, if you're on Twitch, I like to think you are, then, or maybe YouTube, who knows, or head on over to extra-life.org, check out that link that Pumpkinjack shared over there in the chat, look in the bio, do a quick Google search, you'll figure out how you can get involved. You can join a team, you can start a team, you can do it solo, you can do it with friends. There are so many ways that you can Play games and heal kids. It's pretty incredible. Um, speaking of raising funds, Tardy Cheetah just redeemed their phantom points to make me donate a dollar to Extra Life. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Let me slap the cans on here. Okay, throw. Actually, that was like a perfect throw. I'll, I'll get a round of applause for that. <laughs> Let me get my giant head and face out of the way here. We will get right into the gameplay. I'll donate to Extra Life. I also have to dab. I might as well dab here for Arcade Butter, who just used their points too. So, Arcade, this one is for you. Ready? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Let me get to the gameplay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, there it is. Gotta donate a dollar to Extra Life. So I'm gonna push a button. Ready? Pops up Extra Life. The Extra Life website. And there should already be a thing here for Phantom Points. Boom, there it is. Arcade, I'm gonna mark yours as complete. Tardy. There's, your goes. Every stream you bet at least one dollar is gonna get donated. It better, Tardy. <laughs> Every stream helps, man. I'm already donating a dollar a day. If I have to donate a dollar per stream or two dollars per stream, also, bring it on. Bring it on. But I'm going to go ahead and mark that as complete here real quick. Tardy, thank you for those fan points. Thank you for the raid too, buddy. Let me uh, say hello to everyone over in the Discord. What's up, Poto, Arahana, and Veldar? Oh, Shiro's too. We got the whole squad here. Overlooked it. What's up, everybody? Oh, hey, what's up? 
I'm I'm never the last one here. You guys were all early birds. I, I'm usually the last one. <laughs> but yeah. All right, that, that's a Shiro. So you have to leave and come back. <laughs> yeah, I'm back. Oh. Welcome back, Poto. <laughs> Brad's the last one. There you go. Well, Brad was also the first one, so he, he gets a pass. Wait, what I do? Oh, we're teasing about how uh, I just joined and how typically everyone else comes later. Mm. How everyone's being early birds today. And we're like, oh, well, Brad's the last one. I'm like, no, no, Brad Brad was here at like 8 o'clock. Stalker. I mean, I was setting up my, my stuff, man. I'm being the man behind the curtain. Oh, I forgot. Where are you guys? You guys are central time? Eastern. Uh, Eastern. Or Eastern. Oh, okay. Yeah, for me, it's Western. Pacific. Ohio. Oh, so, so you're... Yeah, it's, it's 530 so it's, right it's, now for me. I was just going to say you're about three hours behind. Okay. Yeah. He's still got daylight. Of course, yeah, actually, I was say, you're going to hop off here no, and eat dinner. Actually, no, it's getting dark right now. Yeah, it gets dark around six here. Yeah, winter. The sun never sets in California. What? It's actually kind of cold, but you guys would call it... Wait, wait. A, Please a tell me what probably. the temperature is. <laughs> Well, it was it was negative fifteen in Wisconsin this week, and it's about like thirty in uh, in Florida right now. It's actually a fairly warm thirty-five today. Yeah, actually, it's only sixty-four. That's not that bad. That's tough. Only sixty-four. Yeah, which is kind of well. Um, Dude, I've been tanked out for shorts for sixty-four. For you? <laughs> like there was one morning where there was like ice on people's cars, but that was about it. <laughs> oh, Ohio, baby. Or, or a few a few mornings where it was like kind of cold, but. No. Let me move yeah, that's why my self you east coasters out make of... fun of us and our weather. Yeah, you can make fun yeah, of yeah, us so for you, our we can backward see the, ways. The roll. Well, we would go over there in the fifty degree weather, be better. wearing like sweaters and everything. I went to Florida a couple years ago, and it was seventy there, and I'm out jogging in a tank top and shorts, and everyone else was wearing parkas. <laughs> yeah. That's how they know you're from out of town. That or I was on drugs. <laughs> or both. Both. <laughs> or both. Well, Pato has the high roll of 5,327 today. I was like, what is happening? Like, literally hundreds of <laughs> well, before, before you screen. joined, I, I changed the dice settings to, to show up to 100 3D dice and... Ooh. Poto maxed it out. It's oh. gonna just show twenty now. But... Oh. You got the leopard dice going. Oh yeah. So very spicy um, memories. What's up, Blunt Wolf? Welcome to the stream, start. bro. How are you? No, I think we bribed this guy. So <clears throat> you guys ended oh, wait, up. He didn't take my gold. Yeah. He did not. He dropped it on the ground. Um. And you only found like half of it. Yeah. If I remember correctly. So you yeah. made it to this iceberg, and there's this village here. Poto gave them a cupcake. Well, they don't speak common very well, but they took you inside their main big igloo, their town hall, and pointed to a hole that has some icy stairs that wrap down um, to the bottom and said, you know, the danger was that way. And from down there, Hor, from down that pit, that hole, you can hear coughing. There be COVID down there. Coughing? <laughs> Did you say there might be COVID? Oh wait, <laughs> danger was. Was he like trying to have us get involved in one of his problems or something? What What does he mean by? We are looking for Maketh the Crimson. Yeah. yeah so they they pointed they pointed at, at Sean. Um, yeah, like to say he's a tiefling also or something. Yeah, they pointed it at uh, Morthos, and then um, when they escorted you back into their tents, they uh, pointed down into a hole and also said the words danger. Mm. Macath, danger. Okay, so he's in this direction, but there's danger. That's well, I'm glad someone I'm took notes. I mean, it's literally my job. <laughs> So, Maketh is, is female, and we don't know for sure if they're still down there, but the chieftain was implying that that was the last place they were seen, and that it's not safe. Okay, so this hole looks like a cavern of some sort? 
Yeah, so <clears throat> in the back corner of this village hall, there's an entrance. Um, a chute carved with icy stairs that descends about a hundred feet in tight spiral. And it's dark, I'm guessing, down there. And very cold. And cold. We got winter. Did we buy clothes? Yes, that's why we're, we're wearing the, the furry yeah, I think, coats and I stuff. think we did buy clothes. Yeah. I, I think we did. It's time to go down there. Yeah, there's also a basket and pulley system suspended. Um, I'll get my... To, to like, Put lower... the lotion in the basket? Yeah, to lower things down. <laughs> well, if um, we need to investigate this person and there's a chance they're alive, I imagine we should move quicker than slower. Yeah, well, if he's in danger, yeah. Let's go. <laughs> she. Oh, so sorry, she. So just straight shot down, or...? There's there's the basket and then there's icy steps wrapped around we, down the chute. We could put flour into the basket. Flour, like baking flour. No, dragon. like the, the little dragon that Arhana oh, has with sorry. us. Oh, sorry. We probably should. Um, I mean, what guarantees do we have when we go down there? They don't just cut the rope on the basket and leave us down there. I mean, we could climb back out. I could fly. I thought it was stairs going down, and the basket there's, is there's, just... Uh... There, there's both, yes. Oh, oh both. There, yeah, there are stairs. The, bas yeah. the basket isn't for lowering a person, is it? Or is it for... I don't um, imagine. It looks like this basket is used to carry um, villager, like the villagers up and down. Like, it's big enough for a person oh, or, so su or, actual... or, or supplies. Oh, uh, okay. So in theory, if someone was injured, we could use it as like an elevator. Yeah. Well, we better well, get moving. Are we all, we're all like rested up? Everyone ready for this? Did, did we technically rest? I thought we rested on the boat. Uh, I get, yeah, oh, I guess we would have had a long we rest. We haven't been in conflict since. Yeah, okay. Just checking. I'm just going to click long rest to make sure. Because we would have slept on the boat, I, I guess, after everything. Yep. Okay, cool. All right, well, let's get going. Dragon Force. Okay, so you guys... Dragon Force, home. What are you guys doing? Yeah. Walking, walking down the steps? Yeah, let's, yeah, let's, let's take down. a walk. Do we Seems have a little safer. So you are guys, they super slippery? Oh, um, we have our spike boots kind of thing. You have the spike boots. So oh, you can okay. get cleats on them. Okay. In DMD, they call them crampons. They call them trampons in real life, too. I know, but I said that one time and someone laughed at me. What is it called? Tramp on? No, crampons. I mean, oh, cramp tight. on. Okay. Yeah. It's it. I mean, it, it looks. <laughs> it sounds very similar to well, they, a hygiene Yeah, product. they kind of like just hook onto the outside of your boot or something like that. Yep. Pretty much. Yep. Okay. Um. So. Crampons. So you crampons. walk down the icy steps, and when you get to the bottom, um, hey, you learned. see that this chamber is empty, except for three bundles of rolled seal skins um, mm. sitting um, by the sh chute and a pile of furs has been arranged in the southwest hey, corner. Team? And from there Indians, you can hands hear down. the sound of They're terrible. They're loud coughing. So bad. But you gotta support. I wonder if that we're not what kind of, to investigate. It sounds like a humanoid is coughing or something. Yeah, so in the corner you see um, someone dressed similar to the villages, just like wrapped up in the in the corner, just you know, coughing sporadically. Hmm. Should we try to? We need to introduce ourselves. To person? Actually, let's looks do like it. a villager. Yeah, it probably doesn't. You got the reds here. Common. Honestly, well. solid call. Tardy, you know anyone what who's not the, the Indians might actually win some games. Just their kind of tribal it was, language. Uh, yeah, it was called Ulik. Okay. So well, speak very slowly and very clearly. So it's a man or a woman? Can we even tell? Uh, it's a. Uh, That's a good question. Looks like a man. Okay, uh, sir. Looks like a man. Sir, <laughs> how, what are you doing down here? You don't look well. Do you, you get quarantined too? Oh no! I take one step back. <laughs> <laughs> Can we like well, I, cure him? I'm actually immune to disease. Can oh, we yeah. cure him? 
Yeah, maybe I can do something for him. Let's see. I never set my spells. I th believe Lay on Hands can do something. I might need to read that. I know, I know what you mean, Tardy. Lay on Hands can handle... Once I find it... I'm just going to actually cast this to the consume. Or just so I can read this thing. Does this deal with disease? Oh, multiple, you can cure multiple diseases and neutralize with a single use of expending hit points separately for each one. Oh, you can expend five hit points to cure the target of one disease. What is your disease, sir? I don't know. <clears throat> Everyone that gets sick gets put down here. So you didn't get sick. Sorry, I had to do this in character. So you didn't get sick from being down here. You were sent here because you were sick. Yeah. <clears throat> they don't know what's wrong. How many of you are sick? Just me. Oh. Well. <laughs> I guess. When, I guess... Did you, when did you get sick? Where were you? Uh. I don't know. Were you it's in this dark, cave? It, it's dark down here. It's been... I don't know how many days has it been. So you got sick down here and they didn't let you come back up, basically. He implied that he was sent here. Like, this is the quarantine zone. Oh, okay. Not the source. Well, uh, here, let me try to help you out. And I'll use five hit points of lay on hands on him. Look at you, man, sacrificing your own. Gotta help this guy. Okay. I'll just see. I'll just try to cure his disease. See if it helps his cough. So, um, you're so. Yeah, is this a dangerous place? I feel bad. I don't want to leave him here. All right. So you go up to him and you uh, cast lay on hands. Yeah. Okay. So you oh, go whoops. up to him. I did it again. That's fine. Uh, you cast lay on hands. You put your hands on him, and then after a few moments, he goes, "Oh, he goes, oh my, my throat. I feel I feel much I feel much better. Thanks." You weren't a bad guy, were you? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my name is Mend Nets because, well, I fix the nets for the fishers. Oh, Mend Nets. Well, I'm sure they'll be happy to have you back to work soon. <clears throat> what, what can you tell us about? We're headed down this cavern looking for our friend. Do you know anything about this place? Uh, I visit a few of the rooms down here, but. I don't know too much. What are you doing down here? Looking for a friend who supposedly your chief pointed down here and told us to look around. Mm. I haven't seen anyone else down here except some kobolds and some ice toads. I thought I saw some trolls, but that might have just been the, the sickness, you know? Yeah. You believe you're hallucinating? Is there a map of this place or anything? Yeah, yeah, we're, I'm going to load the map up. Uh, oh, I was actually asking him, the character. Or Men Nets. Men Nets, is there like a map of these caverns mm -hmm. that you guys have? Well, we didn't dig this place out. This was here, as long as I remember. I see. Or well, Mendez doesn't even get a picture. No, he doesn't. <laughs> it's just a name. <laughs> it was one of the few polite things that didn't have a picture. So this is the the bottom of the um, stairwell that you came down. What's this circle? That is stairwell? the stairwell that goes up, and then imagine a rope in the middle. Is this is this cave system here well lit? Are there torches? Is it all dark? Um, so in this room and some of the other rooms, so for that, uh, this is area is film filled with dim light by uh, whale oil lamps. Looking at the floor, I see there's two directions here. Does like one direction seem more traveled than the other? Um, do perception check. 
would, would this be your favorite terrain? This is a now mountains. You know, mountains. Twenty-three. Um, it looks like most of the path goes to the one in the south. There's some traffic going north, but not as much. And the footprints seem kind of the same in size and shape, both directions. Well, we know, we know uh, the ones kobolds, trolls. Yeah, the ones that go to the south are almost all. Well, they're they're all completely human, and then the ones going to the north, there's a mix of human and then some like webbed footprints. That'll probably be the toad. Is Macatha a human? Is she? We don't know, but after they were pointing at Morthos, it's probable that they are or Macath is a tiefling. Oh, I'm sorry. That's right. I remember now. Mendnets, you speak the same language we do uh, much better than the villagers above. What could you tell us about the sickness you've... we just cured you of? <clears throat> well, when you're out in the cold long enough, you can suffer some severe consequences, and I just wasn't prepared. We're glad you're well. Are we? Well, you're... Tell your chief the powers of Bahamut have healed you. There you go. Always recruiting. <laughs> mm, I don't think they would like that. Well, it's the truth. <laughs> I am a I am a paladin of Bahamut, and it's a woman god. Through her wisdom, I don't know actually, to be honest. <laughs> Through their wisdom. Through you don't, you don't their seem wisdom. A, that, that devout of a worshiper. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm, I'm saying that as a player, not as a. I know. Just give me shit. <laughs> but yeah, you get the point, man. That's through their guidance. So you have been made well. So what are you for doing down here? If you're not being quarantined, finding your friends. This place is dangerous. Oh. Well, we're looking for the one they call. Macath the Crimson. She looks like our friend here that you're talking to. I haven't seen her. I'm sorry. Hmm. Hmm. Oh. Well, I suppose, I and, and that's we appreciate the info, and you better get out of here. Better pick a direction and we can start walking. Go tell your chief you are well. All right. And you can name drop Bahamut if you want. I'll keep that in my back pocket if it comes up. Um, with that, he uh, starts walking up the step, up the bleh, up the stairs, back up to the <laughs> village hall. All right. All right. So, w which way do you guys think we should go? Human, human well, prince. Well, I imagine the prince? if you. If so many go south, that's probably where we like want to go, but it would probably benefit us to explore where few have been. I first. remember to unpause the game without being reminded. I just feel very proud of myself right now. Hooray! Good job. <laughs> Let us go north. North, north seems like a good call. Alright, lead the way. Alright, do I, uh,. Oh, this intersection. Do I smell anything in either direction that would give me any clues as to which way seems to be the uh, way of all these creatures that walk this way? Um, you can see the footprint footprints go to the oh, west. The, yeah, and then up still there. Yeah. So the prints go left. Nothing to the right. Well, there's Nothing there's like there's a, a there's mo most of the footprints go up there, but there are footprints that go all directions. Oh, I lied. The narrator has told me there are footprints going in other directions. <laughs> the path to the right might be the safest way to go, then. I'd say we need to keep our eye out for these troll footprints. Those are probably the most dangerous features so I've heard. Way. Assuming they even exist, that uh, Mednets might have been having a fever dream. <laughs> Possibly. See a ch change in the, uh, the floor here. Is there any terrain change or anything I should notice yeah so um, as the floor on this map gets darker the um, 
this area slopes down. Okay. So anywhere that's darker is lower oh, than what, where you've been. Um, is the floor slick or slippery, or is it safe? It's safe right now. It looks like it's been well well traveled. Okay. We've reached another fork. It's really a fork with only two ways. That's what a fork is. Reach That's another what a fork split. is, right? <laughs> split. I mean, a I fork guess. also applies for. It's a T section. <laughs> right. Right. Well, which way does well, what, which what way does the group want to go? Well, what? Any tracks that can suggest? Yeah, so what, what do we? What can we tell? Like here, or see? we should probably start stealthing or something. We should probably move quietly while we're down here. All right. On Drax's advice, we're going to stealth. Even though my stealth is not an easy thing for me to accomplish. You're wearing pots and pans. <laughs> <laughs> But I will try. Unless anybody has, like, pass without a trace or something like that. Oof. Uh, your plate mail is echoing through the, the halls as you're walking through here. <laughs> I'm like, I'm trying. I'm like trying to hold down, like, different parts of my... Doesn't, do rangers have pass without a trace? If they do, I don't think Poto has it. No, he probably doesn't. I was just um, So it's Poto, Erhana, and Drax are stealthing. Um, so Poto and Erhana, you're just like, like you can barely hear your footsteps um, as you're walking through the ice. Um, but I'm just ruining it. Yeah, same with. Morthos. <laughs> Morthos is just gliding, using his wings to, to float above the ice. Maybe I should like like an like an owl. I'll try to hang back. Or <laughs> would it be quieter if you just laid down and we dragged you? <laughs> On a like a <laughs> him. All right. Roll him into a snowball. <laughs> okay, well I'll, I'll try my hardest. <laughs> so, um, are you guys continuing down this path, or are you going up? Um, what what can we see or hear or smell? Like, is there heat? Like, do we? Is there any indication of anything? <clears throat> so, as you're looking north up to that room, there's a fog and a mist that like encompasses it, and it obscures uh, the far end of the room. Sounds safe, guys. I think we should go in. I can't tell if that's you being facetious or not. <laughs> I don't let you figure that out. Whoa, do you see any tracks anywhere? Or going which direction? Was it both? There's there's tracks going all directions. I, I, okay, I, I well pick then. up a, a small stone and, and toss it into the, the mist to make it sound like it's just something falling from the ceiling. Do I do I hear any reaction from it? Good idea. Um, Good question. Let me check. Who's in this room? If you're checking, that would imply a yes. Well, they would have heard pots and pans coming, so... Could have been men that's fixing his nets. You don't hear anything responding to the... The clack um, of the stone. The clack of the stone, yeah. Well, Seems let's, safe. let's go that way. Bring it on. Okay. So I'll, I'll walk by and put it on. Oh, yeah. I'm the tank. I'm positive. Well, no, um, you, you're the you're the oh, perception no. man. <laughs> the world is stopped. Yeah, I you gotta go. Run out from behind. Tardy, thank you so much for tuning so, in. So as you walk stream. into this room, oh, no. thank you for the raid. Stay in trouble. Distance, we'll see you next time. You Have a great see, Friday. Uh, eight kobolds in this chamber, polishing and maintaining the ice. Hmm. What would be Wait, the benefit? What? Of polishing Maybe ice. they have an ice rink here and they skate around. Do... Hey, Arahana, do you think you could turn into one of them and go talk to them or something? They're humanoid. Aren't um, so uh, they're... they're... You can't... Hmm, I wonder if there's anything you could turn into. No. Probably not. So your perception was 23, Poto. Um, from this distance, they're polishing ice, but behind them, you see giant... Giants in the in the background, not just giants. Oh. Giant giants. They're very big. 
Yeah, but I need yeah. to mess with these guys. So they're polishing the ice for the giants. Got to keep the floor looking from, good. From this distance, that's what it looks like, yeah. What would giants or kobolds need with polished ice? Uh, everyone roll perception. Polished ice. Yeah, I don't know. You guys have been decorating your dice. I dig it. <laughs> I need yeah. to decorate mine. <laughs> um, I tried to get rainbow one. Didn't go well. Draxon and, and Morthos, you're like squinting as you're watching them polish the ice, and you're like, those giants. I wonder if they like worship oh. these giants or something. Silly question, but being frozen isn't a livable condition, right? Mm. Like they're not like preserved and can be woken up, or can they? Not for like bees do an, or something. Do an insight check. Insight check, it is. I know bees. You can do that with. Hmm. <clears throat> Whether the hearts of giants can last in stasis. You don't have any clue. Interesting. So we're going to fight them? The kobolds the haven't noticed you. They haven't noticed a rock. We can go forward or we, we can try to continue along the path that we haven't encountered anybody. Well, the we kobolds, know it's here. We can always come The back. kobolds we've run into can't really talk to them. They're kind of dumb. This is also true. We should probably just go a different direction. All right, that's that's like three votes. <laughs> Arhana, what uh, what are you thinking? Well, you wanna turn around? To... That is an option, or we can advance well, on. Oh, we what, still what you, have. We feeling? just have other options that we could do. We don't have to go top. There are four other pads we haven't explored. I mean, does, like, do these giants look the same as the ones on the floating? We saw ogres. These are no, different. They do not. Okay. So. Just look around if we see the the tiefling, but if not, let's not go in here. We didn't see the. We don't see anybody like else besides. That's all you see in here. Okay. I don't know why. Ma I don't know why Macaf would be in this direction unless. She was like a prisoner of theirs or something. I mean, it, it's very possible there's more stuff beyond this. Room. Yeah, true. Scout out some more. We can, yeah, we can keep going. Yeah, just because there's other paths, I'm like, well, may as well just keep going the direction where we're not going to. We're still Cause we don't know. We don't know if they're hostile. Because they, they said danger, so maybe these kobolds are like crazy or something. Just go back up? Yeah, it goes up, back up. Uh, it's, so I did down and then back up. Don't like visitors, maybe. There's two ways again. I, we have another junction. Can, Are these brown dots stones, or is that a symbol for? So stairway? this is similar to the entrance that you went down. Um, there's um, a ladder that descends into this um, passageway. So even there's another layer to this ice cave. No, no, this, this goes up, not down, not down. Okay, I understand, okay. Should we, should well, we just yell out, Macath? <laughs> uh, so this this seems like an, echo, an exit, though. then. Um, yeah. So I don't imagine Macath is this way, if the chief didn't point it down. Hmm. This might just be a good, like, escape if we need it. Let's just keep following the main tunnel or something. I agree. Until we fix kind of see what our options are. So is there anything on like the walls of these tunnels? I I, I, I grab Poto and Arhana and flower. try to prevent them from walking forward. I was I wanted to move behind Poto or I guess I'll move next one. Okay. 
Okay. <laughs> I, I give the, the SWAT symbol for holding your position. Oh. As, you, as, as you look to your west, you see a dozen kobolds occupy a disheveled and filthy chamber. Half-eaten fish heads and gnaw seal flippers are tossed in the corners or carelessly strewn around matted heaps of furs, which probably smell as bad as they look if it wasn't for the cold. Does it seem like uh, they're all kind of just sleeping after they ate? or Some of them are eating, some of them are fighting with each other, and a couple of them are sleeping. So how many do you see? So it's like one part mess hall and one part like butcher shop. Is there a lot of them in there? He said there's a dozen. It looks like a den. Will we be able to cross without being noticed? Half of them sleeping and the other one's fighting. I imagine we could... I should pull it off. We got pots and pans with us here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sing your clink and well, they're, stuff. They're not paying attention to me. They they already heard me coming down the tunnel, I'm sure. And they're not paying attention. And it's possible, like, with the echoing, it could just sound like it's come from anywhere. I'd say we just keep walking. They're not going to tell us anything. Maybe a couple. Of, if we see one or two, like, by themselves, we'll try to talk to them. Or... Hey. Hey, Drax, do a con save, please. I'm cold. Uh-oh. Am I cold? Get my charisma bonus. Oh. Oh my gosh, I was so close to a three. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, 23. Go back down. Wait, am I cold? Was it getting chilly? Mm -hmm. Um... This place is like cold, cold, but that's not what's bothering you. Oh wait, I think I know what's bothering me. It's this place is like kind of calm, but it just feels like uneasy to you. But you shrug it off. I'm gonna do. De I'm gonna oh. do detect evil if it's if I'm feeling something weird. Just gotta check with my god here. How do I use this? I, I know it's just detect evil. It's like you smell oh, something bad, right? Oh, divine if it's sense. Divine sense, yeah. Yeah, I was just trying to so I could, like use it up on my sheet. Yeah, so um, you do smell like some noxious. some noxious stuff. But like as you're thinking about it, you're like, it's not what's bothering me. Oh, there's something I think it's else. my new friend that you guys don't believe talks. I mean, that's still possible. I think he's doing something to me. That's possible. Pull out has. Do we really need to do this here now? Could be dangerous. Yeah. All right, you're right. Let, him, you seem... let, let him distract you in battle and stuff. <laughs> Should have threw him into the ocean when I had the chance. Cast it into the fire. I uh, peer into right, this another large junction opening. Here. Do, I, do I sense or see anything? Yes. Um... So. Oh, uh, <laughs> what? So in here, these are all frozen as well from what you can uh, imagine. Thank God. Um, hmm. I have some pictures too. So here. They're frozen in ice? They're oh. frozen in ice. Oh, my. Wow. Super cool. Yeah. Um, so in here, um, is there a shipwreck? Yeah, among the creatures frozen in here, um, there's like a trio of these weird crawly centipede-looking things. I have the names for these. I can tell they're like called Bahirs, Remoraz, and there's Yetis. And also a giant octopus frozen in front of a ship. Someone here was like a collector. How did? Does there seem to be any evidence how the ship got in here? Um, from this distance, Army. this look the ship looks like completely intact. <laughs> okay. 
can we hear anything? Because I feel like if Macath was investigating stuff, this might be one of the things that she would be interested How is in. A ship down here? So, I mean, um, it, it's possible that, you know, it froze on the ocean and then this island formed around it as time went on. So, so where are we? Arahana, you can like do a, a insight or history check, your choice. Um, and Morthos, um, I'll get to you in a second. Okay. Were we told of anything she was doing here? She was investigating, um, I think, the, the Dracorn. So, <clears throat> after being on the Frost Skimmer for a while, you know how ships are supposed to be made. But looking at this, um, it's clear that this ship wouldn't fit through like any of the entrances in here. And it looks like whoever did this disassembled it and then reassembled it inside but there's like mistakes in the rigging and the hull but you know if you didn't know anything about ships it looked like passable for a good display so someone disassembled the ship and reassembled it is what you're saying yeah it's a trophy that's interesting i was mistaken my cath wasn't investigating the dracorn my cath was investigating old white death the white dragon that's right Well, do we want to explore this room? I uh, I want to um, use my primal awareness and see if I sense any uh, dragons within six miles of me. Oh, wait, no, I'm not in my favorite training. Within one mile, I'm sorry. You think a dragon's collecting all this? Never yeah. know. Yes, you do sense a dragon. There be dragons here. No, the food. little kobolds don't count, right? The kobolds don't count, yeah. Kobolds are considered humanoids. Where's the, which way is the sense stronger? Go to which way? I don't know, think this thing gives me a direction. It just tells me that I can sense them somewhere nearby. An AOE thing? Right there, in the area. Yeah. It just says it doesn't reveal location uh... or a number. Well, do we want to keep along the path, or do we want to try exploring this room, just sort of check out the list? Yeah, let's do that. Since there's... nobody seems to be in here. Are they all polished, all nice, and so you can, like, observe them or something? <clears throat> yeah, so these are, like, arranged neatly, and it looks similar to, like, where those giants were. They're all polished nicely, um... So you can see them, um, except so, for like the top, where it looks like someone, whoever was doing this, couldn't reach the very top. So what if instead of hoarding gold like the last dragon, what if this ice dragon is hoarding stuff, people like trophies, and that's why the kobolds are polishing them for nice shiny. Like, what's the point of polishing ice if if it's it's just ice, but if it's a trophy or they're like hired to like. That could explain that. These are trophy cases. Got to be nice and shiny. Same thing with the disassembled and reassembled ship. I think the all those kobolds probably worship this white dragon. That's, it's, this inspecting is... this room, does there seem to be any treasure? Um. So, of immediate interest on the deck of the ship is a chest. There's a chest. Mm. It's open. Mm. Okay. Um, so far, you... so good. <laughs> Are you checking it or? I I peer inside cautiously. Or, or is it, is cautiously. it open or closed and just not? It's open. open. You can see in it. Um, so the the chest um, when you're looking in it, it contains um, three hundred seventy five gold pieces. Mm -hmm. 1,480 electrum pieces and then 495 silver pieces and then an additional uh, 225 of jewelry and precious objects. I would make sure it's not trapped. Could you read that one more time for me for the notes? 375 gold, 1480 electrum, 495 silver and then another 225 gold. That's what you can see from looking at it. 
if I, uh... Let's see, I, I, I poke it with my, uh, my sword. Let's see if it's real, or a trap of some kind. Is that a giant octopus, by the way? Yeah, that's a giant octopus, yep. Um, so you poke it with, uh, like a, with what? With, with, with my sword. sword. With your sword? Um, you poke it, and you stab in the side of the wood of the chest, and nothing happens. I can be a giant octopus now. Oh, wait, so, Arhan, you're saying that now that you've, like, discovered this creature, you can mm -hmm. become it? Can you be this yeti? That's awesome! Uh, the okay. yeti is a monstrosity. Hmm. I mean, it's, it's what is, nine spaces what are these big. Things? It's, it's, Those are all monstrosities. Okay. Yeah, the only thing that's a beast is the octopus. So, looking at the ship and looking at these polished statues, you mentioned the height. Um... Would it be possible that its height is restricted because this, these might have been polished by the kobolds? Or like, do I see like kobold claw prints or like kobold specific? Tool as, marks as you're looking on around, you ship? can tell that there's kobolds that were like scrambling around cleaning these things because you can see their footprints and some like rags that they've left on the ground. But okay. they just can't reach like up to the faces, so like some of the faces are obscured. So I'll, I'll point that out to the the rest of the the party. Oh, dear lord. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff here. Hmm. Do we want to take this treasure or not? I think we should definitely take it. Why is there a circle? Does anyone have the uh, spare strength to carry it right now? I mean, if we divvy it up, then probably. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm capped, so I can't... Oh, sorry. I, I didn't realize my mic was muted. I casted... I wanted to cast Detect Magic on the oh. chest. Sorry. I need to... It's all good, man. I just wasn't sure if maybe something was happening. Um, You don't sense any magic on this okay. chest. Okay, well, seems like it's probably okay to just take it. So, Poto, you said that you're maxed I'll, out I'll on, be burdened, um, burdened if you, I on your strength. Try to pick this up. You can't take any more currency. Currency weighs, uh, whatever. <laughs> Beldar, what don't, just happened? I'm moving stuff around. Don't worry about it. Okay. Um, d does currency yet, yeah, Beldar? Do we have our our gold weigh stuff currently in this game? Encumbrance. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't think I ever specified. Well, I'm just because I know that Foundry tracks the weight. Okay, I, I, I now that you mentioned Poto, I'm looking at my inventory, and yeah, I've got about 20 pounds that I can carry more. I can carry. I got it, man. I mean, I wouldn't know how much all that currency would weigh. It's just, I, well, I can probably carry it because I'm not carrying much currency. I can carry 255 pounds. Yeah, I can carry another, like, 95 pounds, basically. All right, well, let me see here. How's the druid's let's just, let's just assume that... Because <laughs> I'm seven feet tall. You can drop some stuff, too, if you have, like, some... He's like, part thing. of my attributes. I'm a little stronger. She's beefy. I like it. Extra beefy. thick. <laughs> I like how chunky. Chunky. <laughs> like Zelda. All right. Well, I, we I have. Like we have, there's no way that's it's, twenty it's pounds. Forty-eight point four six eight seven five pounds. No, oh, I could carry that. Per, okay, so yeah. So if we each take a bit, that's just ten pounds each. I'll. Uh, one person or two people can carry it. So we just need to say it's being carried. That's all. I don't really care who has it. We'll split it up later. Yeah, I'm able to carry like another ninety-five pounds. So. Okay. Technically, you could just say I'm carrying it. I mean, what's your threshold at, Poto? Like, how close? Uh, actually, I'm I'm slightly over, so I'm a little obese right now. <laughs> we gotta, you, you gotta start eating less. Uh, Those good, good berries, berries, man. They're putting the pounds on. Like a loss, let himself go. <laughs> I just imagine Poto's I, I, face just stained red from all the good berries he's eaten. <laughs> I imagine them as blue. No more, no more like a loss. More like like a lot, but <laughs> like a lot. Oh, ha, ha. All right. That's funny. 
So we we we've, we've ransacked the treasure. Does do these statues uh do these oh, creatures appear awesome. dead? Uh, um do a insight check photo. Uh, which one just insight? Yeah. What the hell's that? Oh there it is. This is, oh, this is ghost dice died. here. 18. Um, some of them look dead. Some of them look like they've been preserved. Like with, But most of them have like scars or battle wounds. Not They're frozen alive. Not all of them are. It looks like some might have been alive. Some just completely decimated. So not, no risk of these creatures breaking out and attacking us. I mean, no is a big okay, word. A low risk. It, it doesn't there look like anything immediate would cause these things to pop out and attack you. But okay. as you take the treasure off the ship, you hear a low rumble from below your feet. And a few moments later, That's the uh, dragon. you see two ice trolls run around the corner. Oh, I knew somehow something would Always happen. Trap. So it, it it was booby trapped. I poked it with the sword. I just right. That means it's not mimic. Right when I see them, I just go get angry and rage. <laughs> Do your things, Drax. Ah! Or try to convert them. Or I mean, or do we know that they're? To the... Yeah. Have you heard of? Ah, uh, roll initiative. <laughs> All right, there it is. We're fine. Some crazy trolls. The troll, the troll to the left. Oh, but I can't tell who's like not encased in ice. Well, they would have been blocking our path previously. Oh, that's great. Some solid rolls here tonight. All right. Well, they S rolled really low, me. so Morthos gets to go first. Good, good. Well, so I don't just absolutely get surrounded by them first. I'm going to start with some long range. I'm going to go with um, my dagger. Not my dagger. Uh, javelin or spear of lightning. If I can find spear. it. Javelin of lightning. Spear of destiny. Ah! <laughs> I'm targeting the one on the right. Um, that's that's a fail. Which one? No, no, no. That You're is not a fail. at the right ones, anyways. You just threw one at the <laughs> snow <laughs> yeti. As it. I meant uh, sorry when I, I placed this, it didn't give me an option like rotate it. No, oh, it's the his javelin of lightning. Oh. Oh, so the one on the, on the top. Okay. Um. Yeah, that misses. All right, well then I'm gonna use my extra tech. I can find it. To throw a spear. One on the right. That hits. Sweet. As you hit it for seven piercing damage, as you, if, as it scrapes by and hits his forearm. That is going to be my turn. All right, Poto, I, you are up. I, I can't move. Sorry. You, were, you were so proud of that first time. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. I'll be, I'll be here all night. Maybe, maybe I'll just walk away. Cry. Laugh cry. All right, guys. Well, we've been streaming for a full hour. I know combat just started, so I'm running a quick miracle story. So, that way we can get right back to combat. Don't go like, anywhere. I can... We're gonna talk about extra life, and we'll be right back. I'm They're assuming I'm studying for you. The... Stick around. Since the day when I yeah. took her from the hospital, she never stopped crying. I had to sleep her on my arms every single night. Then when I put on the cream, she started crying, so I had to hold it. I do the same thing every day, every night, for 40 days. 
So the pediatric came and she said, you know what? Uh, I asked her, what's going on? What's going on? Tell me what's going on, because she speaks Spanish. So I can ask her. And she says, something wrong with your baby, but don't worry. So she sent me to the uh, children's hospital. They had to do x-rays on the phone. So when they do the x-rays, that's when the big mess is up. The whole left side is broken. All the ribs broken, all the arm broken. When she showed me the x-rays and I saw the bone like that, she said, when you change the diapers and you pull in, they broke him. I feel so bad, I completely broke her leg every single day every single day. The bone has something in it called collagen. Collagen is the rebar, uh, which is what goes into cement to make it strong. The bone uh, produces calcium, but it's just brittle. It just doesn't have a normal strength to it. A careful mom unbuckling them, taking them out of their car seat, getting them in and out of the bathtub. Routine daily activity will sometimes break their bones. She always has to wear those, those braces. The nature of her legs are not strong enough to support full-time activity. Kids with mild osteogenesis imperfecta who get, say, 15 fractures, you know, we fix them all and they're pretty normal as adults. She's had so many broken bones and she has so much deformity accumulated over the years that no, she's never gonna be a normal walker. I was about six years old and we were going to church. Called my dad, I remember telling him, Hey, Daddy, I can stand up now. And I was walking, and I slipped in the, in the water. I broke my leg, and I was crying so bad that I wish that I had, had died when I was born. When you're taking care of kids, what is critically important is that you remember and focus on their heart, because that requires just as much healing as any other part of their body. Our services here um, with our specialists, our pediatric surgeons, orthopedic surgeons, they have made her life as successful as it is because they've been able to provide specialty operations and surgeries and such that have given her the ability to grow as normal as she can, to make her bones a little stronger on the inside. Taking care of special kids like her is, uh, that's our thing. The whole team here, from our therapists to our nurses to the people who check Milka in when she comes in in the morning, that's why we're here. If she didn't have Children's Hospital here, she would really, her family would probably have to move to Los Angeles or, you know, Sacramento or the Bay Area just to get care. When I saw in the water, it's the safety place she got. I feel like I can walk because I stand on the water and I can, I can stand and not fall. I now worry about in the water, when she was on the water. Mommy, I'm here. Everybody says, it looks like a mermaid. <laughs> she says, I'm a mermaid. <laughs> it's an unfortunate disease that she has. However, I think that that certainly has defined Milka in that it's, it's made her a very, very strong girl. She's just battled through everything and done everything anybody could ever ask of her. For her and the things that Children's Miracle Network funds have been able to do to help her in her care, it's critical. It's made, made a huge difference in her life. All right, you guys, we are back. What you just saw was a miracle story, or it's a very good example of how the funds we raise here, playing games with Extra Life, 
heals kids in the Children's Miracle Network hospitals. We raise funds to make sure that they never receive a bill for the care that they deserve. Um, we're currently still playing some Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, we're in the middle of combat, so let me get my giant face on the way here, and we'll get right back to the show. Um, yeah, so he he goes and bites down on you, and then claws at you. <clears throat> like ah ha ha! I'll just laugh a little. Ice trolls in my blood rage. <laughs> And oh, now thanks. they're gonna they're gonna do dirty things to you. <laughs> Other one circles around you. Help. Same thing. I'm coming, buddy. I'm the healer. <laughs> I'm the healer. <laughs> <laughs> Help me. That first one misses, and that was with advantage. Critical hit. Uh oh. As you take Nine. <laughs> Nine. So okay. half, half that. Um, and one last attack. Let's Could see. Have been worse. Twenty-six. <gasps> As you take twelve, so six. All right, that was pretty bad. So you got surrounded and beat up pretty bad. Morthos's turn. Well, do you guys this thing. I didn't mean to minimize that window. Give me a second. Okay. As you see your dragonborn friend just getting bit and mauled in the middle of these ice caves, making a lot of clanking noises. <laughs> I'm fine. Don't worry about me. I'm gonna zip right up and uh, slap this um, ice troll. That just get, got hit with a critical hit with a stunning strike. Yes. Like the back of the neck. You just critical? Oh, no, no, no. He critical you. Oh, I'm yeah. Saying, I'm targeting him because I don't I don't like what he's did yeah, to Yeah, he was not good. <laughs> Starting your fifth level, you can interfere with the flow of key, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so I have to hit him first. Okay, well, you you, you did guess... this last time too. <laughs> Listen, man, <laughs> I'm gonna. Do so, we so need I'm, to I'm increase our, our game days to twice a week? <laughs> bring it on, bring it on. All right, I'll tell you what. I'm gonna use my bagger, my bagger, my danner of. I can't speak. I'm just gonna <laughs> stop talking. Marthos's teeth chatter in the cold. <laughs> I'm gonna use my d -d 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 dagger of v -v -v venom on him. With advantage. Yeah. He passed the con save, but the attack does hit. Okay, so he's not poisoned, but yeah. he's hit. Eight piercing damage. <gasps> Alright, well then, I already used the key point, so... He gets the stunning strike now, so he has to has the Constitution saving throw, or be stunned until the end of my next turn. Net twenty, bitch. <laughs> Are you? Oh, so he's just totally unfazed. <laughs> Did you like stunning strike him? He just looks at you and is like, it's a tough troll. What are you doing? <laughs> All right. Well, I guess I'm gonna go for my uh, bonus unarm strike here. You guys gonna die from trolls? Possibly. That would be possible. Uh, they're, they're big boys. That that hits. We gonna die. Can't even see where Morthos is from where I'm at. He he went behind the wall. Seven bludgeoning damage. What Seven do do? damage. Punch him in the thigh. <gasps> Apparently, yeah. Punch him right in the thigh. I mean, he's a tall boy, so that makes sense. All right, well, my last move here is an extra attack. All right, so, yeah. Ooh, there's a one in there. Thank God for advantage. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. 
eight bludgeoning damage as this troll is starting to look a little bit bruised. All right, well, um, I don't want them to get another mm -hmm. attack. We all get of advantage. We all get to go. On, um, that's true. Yeah, that's top true. of the round. All right, we'll fudge it. All right, let's end my, end my turn. All right, Poto, as you watch Morthos throw some fists out of the corner of your eye, what are you doing? <laughs> well, to no one's surprise, I might try to shoot another arrow. Are, are either one of these these uh, ice trolls looking kind of like slightly away from me, like I can see them from the back at all, or no? From the back? They're both facing uh, Drax, so you can see them from the side. Hmm. Would you get like advantage if it's like a sneak attack? I, I don't know. I, I mean, that's I'm... that's what visually is representative. I don't know what that. Means yeah, that, that's fine. Um, I, I'll take another pot shot at this guy on the left. He's the one with the plane around him, right? No, the other one is. I thought this the other one moved. This guy's pretty beat up. Oh, you're you're right. Okay. Yeah, he, yeah, he was the original one on the left. You're right. I oh, damn no, I can't even talk either. Ugh. <laughs> Everyone's learning Ulick. Wow, look at that. It's... There's a rainbow dice. I got rainbow dice. Just found him in there. Um, Does that hit? Yeah. Yeah, maybe it didn't load right away. Those are fancy. 16 damage as you hit him in the abdomen. No, it's not it. It should be under presets, right? I picked yeah. the Rollsmith Iridescent Rainbow Dice. Why am I the one that can't see it? Do you need okay, to log out it. and log back in? Maybe. Guess that's happening. She can't see the trolls. No, she can't see the. She wants the rainbow dice. Oh. Poto, that first attack hits for 16, so what are you doing now? I'm gonna try to shoot it again. The hits. Another abdomen shot. How's he looking? Worse than the other one. Oh. All right, end of my turn. I said they're both getting hurt. Erhana's turn. Yep. Okay. Um, so they, they both look pretty hurt? Yep. The one on the left, more so. Not more so, it's more so. <laughs> I'm gonna move here so I can see. Okay. The one on the left looks more. Yep. Surrounded by trolls. And you said you were done with 4chan. <laughs> I'll just do another Ultra Blast and see if we can get him. Kamehameha! Which one? The one on the left? Okay. Damn, the hits. And six. Six force damage <clears throat> as uh, this like troll's like starting to stagger back from getting hit so much. was good. Okay, Drax, your turn. All right. I'll just drop my longsword and shield and pull out old Haz. Old Haz. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I will reckless attack this guy. Okay. Jeez, where's my sword? Okay. 
Okay, there Go has con save. Yeah, fourteen. Uh, twenty-three for the con save. So that's a lot of damage. That's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let me make sure. Is that all valid damage? It's two d six for the sword, and then two d six like poison. Oh no, necrotic. Necrotic. Yeah, he didn't get poisoned. These guys are um, tough. This guy is bleeding out profusely now as you slash him like all the way top to bottom. Still uh still standing? Yep. Well then I'll have to hit him again. Okay. Reckless, of course. Nice. Okay, the hits. And hopefully this is... He doesn't even need to probably roll because he's not going to have a chance to. What's going on, Argos? Oh, Hello, friend. Plus Are you two winning? for raging. So for... We're in combat, was he still and I'm not dead. Did? In fact, I haven't gotten yeah, any you, damage. Because of the raging, yeah. that is exactly what you needed. Oh, so I only needed two hit points? You needed 18 plus the two, right? Because you said raging. Well, because the the first attack actually would have done plus two. Oh, oh geez. he still yeah, but... he still would have been standing. So he still would have been standing. Okay. Yeah, cool. but now we're in combat, yeah. and I'm alive. Sorry, first killer next, so yes, so, I'll take that as a win. Right. How are you, Argos? Well, how did your stream go? I saw you playing D and D earlier today. Cool. I'll just make him shorter, take out his legs, and then off with the head, so I could even oh, so geez. I could even reach his head. Guy, first get the legs first. All right. You're just lowering him like. Uh, <laughs> Jenga tower. That's a you chop like. Both if you're dead, you're winning. I'll take. You know what? That's, that's a onto that's a vibe knees, right there. And then he's Argus. eye level with you, and then you chop off his head, and his head I'm rolls down, and then his body flops onto the ground. All right, and then for bonus action, I think I'm okay. So I'm done. Well, we're not dead. Also, good. I'm glad to hear that as stay well. Here with flanking this thing. Ah, really? The tables have turned, troll. We stopped the giant metal bull. It, were you guys in a maze by the way? Like, to, uh... this, um... Yeah, so now my AC is 16. Okay. Was this almost I like a, a minotaur yeah. by any Roll chance? Or was it just a totally different uh, kind of encounter? So half seven. You half seven? seven. Yeah. Okay, so like, do you do three on that? Yeah, three, seven. Oh, shoot. Uh, 21 to hit. Mm -hmm. See, this is why I just dropped my shield. I'm like, I don't uh, even need it. Yeah. Um, 12. <laughs> okay, so good, six. good, good. You're killed in that time. All right. I'm going to have to heal myself soon. Hey, at least they're hitting me. I last could take one. it. Last one misses. Okay. Your character can well, finish speak him Mantar? Off, guys. I didn't realize I'm that Mantar needed their, their own, uh, or <laughs> had their own language. Turn. Today I learned. Who's turn? Your turn. Your turn. Oh, <laughs> this guy's in for a world of hurt. Just give him the short right. you can. He, he's, he, yeah, <laughs> he's about to get the short you can. <laughs> give him a little flurry. The hits. Okay. A bludgeoning. You're tenderizing him. He's still up. He's still up. All right. Well, that was you the, the last hit come very right. hard, man. <laughs> We're, we might have to, to eat him later. <laughs> We're all bent. I'm making him nutritious. I like bend down a little so you can jump off my back and like crack him in the face. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> oh, well, you can fly, so I guess it don't matter. Right. We're good. Six. Wow. <laughs> Stun him. Uh, I can probably keep pointing. Tempted. All right, boy, he's he's making me pull out all the the stops. Going for the extra attack here. Or flurry. He was pretty injured, right? Um. Or not as much. No, as this was the other one was more injured. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. And if you're you're rolling that high, you're hitting every time, Sean. Yeah, it's like punching a teddy bear. It's just... It just squeaks. 
Did that, did yeah. that hit? There we go. Uh, he's still up, but he's starting to, to bleed out of the mouth. All right, well, that's to be the end of my turn. He yeah, lives, turn. he lives. All right, I'm gonna move over a little bit for a clearer shot. The one right between the eyes. Well, so Argos, you said you failed to talk your way out of a fight. All right. Was it you who I failed, cast or was it like the party? Game. Ooh. Mm, what is that? That's, oh, that's, a, that's the 20. That's the 30. <laughs> Dang. That. He really doesn't even have to, like, <laughs> a one, and that's it, man. Oh, them's fancy. All right, Poto, <clears throat> tell us how it's done. Oh. Uh, as Drax told me to aim for between the eyes, I fire between the eyes, pins him to the wall, hanging there, limp, blood draining from his body. Yeah. Morthos continues to try to punch him. <laughs> Glad you guys had my back. I was getting a little rough. <laughs> Haven't had a, you know, rail gun arrow in a while. Yeah, pin him to the wall, add, to, add him to the collection of other oddities in this place. Well, for starters, you know what? I'll just use the rest of my lay on hands on me. That's 25 hit points. Okay, so that's the end of combat. The two trolls are dead in the hallway. You can see that their footprints were leading from the west. There. Do we hear anything coming or anything else going on? Nope. Made a racket. I don't know. Let's see what these trolls have. Any coin and keep moving. Uh, these trolls are not clothed. They're just stuck okay. at. All right, they're, rectal they're, check. They're fighting us naked. <laughs> Woo. You say rectal check? That's up to the uh, the medical expert to do. Gotta be packing something, right? Um, are you actually doing this? I'm just kidding. Okay. Uh, <laughs> that would have been entertaining. <laughs> okay. Explain it if you want to. I just I just wanted to see your reaction. <laughs> I just turned around. I'm like, "What is going?" On? You're gonna wash your hands after that, right? Sure. Some hand sanitizer works. There you go. Some right, hand cool. sanitizer in D and D. It's probably a spell. Ninth level. I just lick my hands. We're, we're back. So we're back this... to a stealth thing now, right? Yeah. Let's. Can, can we stealth again? Yeah. We have to re-roll. Stealth again. Right, I'm going to try really hard this time, you guys. Is there anything that can help? Us? Apparently, I tripped Oh, no, <laughs> Arahana. <laughs> Arahana's too distracted oh, by the corpses to, I have to, to roll stealth properly. Good news is Arahana's got the rainbow dice, so that makes me. I need to roll one more time. Okay, so. Oh, it's almost so 20. 12. Yeah. Because I rolled the first time 12. All right, so Drax, you you managed to like shuffle stealthily. He's not yeah. stepping; he's just moving. But his Erhana, explain all the noise you're making as you walk through. <laughs> I don't know. You're probably like her shoelaces come undone and start flip flopping. I probably I'm... sneezed because it was so cold. Well, there you go. Quite large, and I tripped on a nice chunk and fell. Some icicles there fell go. on the ceiling. It's like those TikToks where they point, they're like, oh, it looks like someone fell down here. And then they show the camera to themselves and their face is covered with snow. Have you seen that? <laughs> <laughs> she's, she's trying to shake her hands off after doing the rectal exam. Poop's flying everywhere. Oh, gosh. What does that do, look? Do we want to uh, like Do we want to go north or, or west? Is there a rock up there or is that water? Um, so look in there. Um, it's a narrow cavern. Uh, this chamber feels far colder than any area of the ice caves you've explored so far. The Ooh. cold issues 
from a yawning pit in the floor that twists down into darkness and above which a heavy iron hook is anchored to the uh, ceiling. Uh, there's a five foot wide walkway that extends around both sides of the pit, connecting this entrance to an exit across the room. Carved into the ice of the wall are images of white dragons in flight. Sounds like the place to go. This looks like a feeding chamber. Get, it's going to be co- going to get colder around where the dragon has his lair or her lair. So the, their lair. It's so their lair. Yeah. Wood planks. Um. Yeah, we should uh so, potentially go around this. My uh, my ranger senses tell me that this is a circular path, and we might end up where we started. How long does heroism last? Oh, one minute. Okay. I'll need to cast that in the fight if we... I have a feeling that Macath went looking for this dragon and found it. And either became dinner or is entrapped in ice. Unless Macath is... Or hiding in here somewhere. But if we head towards the dragon... Well, we know there's a dragon here for sure. I sensed it earlier. Yes. Yes. I think this this room should be like it's probably white a death. last resort. There, it's probably white death. No, there's there's a lot for us to explore. I think still we should we should return here later. And if it gets colder this way, I have a feeling we'll run into this white death. It makes perfect sense to me. So yeah, let's try to maybe see if Macath is somewhere else because she's either the dragon's dinner, but probably is not keeping it company. I uh, peer around this corner. What do I see? Um, As you look around this corner, this chamber looks empty except for four empty pedestals sitting in the room. Empty pedestals? Yeah, they're carved out of ice. They come out of the ground, um, and they're square. And uh, they're all about the size of a person. Are they they tr- sound like a party of four. Wait, do we see the troll tracks? That, did they come from this room? Uh, no, the troll tracks keep going farther past this room. Oh, okay. So they were running way down the hall. Went almost in a circle. Does it seem like this pedestal would uh, bear the weight of my fat ranger? Yeah. Mm, I, I have suspicions. Consult our, our book. What does the book say is happening right now? Great book. Oh yeah, I'll turn to the last page. <laughs> <laughs> um, you turn to the last page of the book of and text, it, yeah, and it, it it talks about your fight with the um, trolls, but there's mm-hmm. no indication of you actually killing one Drax. That part's just all. Like, Who's writing this book? Redacted, and what? then um, there's some notes about. Arahana tripping on ice a couple times as you're coming around the corner and peering into this room. And does anyone else notice? Sorry, go on. Um, this, this, is, this, this is what Drax is, is reading. And um Since and it talks about failures. And Poto looking into this room <laughs> and seeing four pedestals um empty look like they're awaiting new trophies. Maybe mm-hmm. a new adventuring party. Our trophies. We are the trophies. Uh, yeah, I was gonna say that. I don't. That, that's for voting. Like I, they, they want our heads or something. It looks like it's for us. Um, put the book away. Does does um, Drax put two and two together that any time he uses that sword, it no one else knows. I mean, that's that's up to Drax. Yeah. By the way, I, by the way, I picked up my shield and sword. Okay. Oh yeah, my, the the spears I threw too. Uh, we should investigate this room to make sure it's free of any hazards besides the pedestals, right? Does oh wait, it sound like anyone's in here? Do perception. What did you say, Morthos? Every time I use my sword, what happens? It's as if there's no um, history of it, like it never happened. Ah. Um, you know that's a good point. Part of there's. And I think I understand <clears throat> why. There's light coming from 
the northwest corner, but nothing else. Huh. I can make magic stone. Be safe. Can I throw a magic stone to see if it sets a trap off or anything? Um, sure, where are you throwing it? What, what do you want to throw it at? Um, I want to throw it at that, that pedestal, right? 60 feet. Okay. Let's see if I can get closer. Um, yeah. Just, okay, so you throw the... Do a... Let's see. Just do an attack roll. See if uh, you can land it on there. Okay. Um, okay. <clears throat> you launch one of these magic pebbles and my sling. your sling and it uh, hits the top of the pedestal and as you do so, you see a block of ice shoot up and encase it and then it just stays there. <laughs> we should we should stay far away from Good those. Good thing Poto didn't jump up there. <laughs> Holy crap. That could have been bad. I haven't used this cantrip yet, so I thought, eh, why not? Yeah, we should. We should. Anything <laughs> in this room? Stay let's very not far go away up from there. That room. Wait, let's Just, go get the. I'm, I'm gonna start stepping backwards. Let's go get the troll head and put it up there, in one of them. A troll head? Oh, oh there he, is. He there is a severed head back there. Yeah, I don't want to be like the person that is even close to that when it activates. Can I throw it on there? I'm more of a fan of heat than cold. I'm I'm good. <laughs> I think no, it would be a bad place to leave this thing. I was almost gonna stick the sword in there. <laughs> it's keep Not moving. Passed a magic bubble through his body. Can we, is this, this is true. just a rumor? Is this continuing? Um, I was saying that there is light. Um, oh, over there. Which implies other direction. direction. Yeah. Hmm. Why don't we sneak over there? Because if we go the other way, it looks like it loops back around. Yeah, yeah, true. Yeah. It's possible that both of these pads do. Well, let's keep. Let's move towards that light and see what's going on. We might be going up here yeah, too. Yeah, it goes up. Um, as you're going up here, it gets a little bit warmer, and as you walk in here. Um, you see the empty ice floor of this chamber holds a most unexpected sight. There's a, a large shelter seemingly built in, out of scraps and in the style of tents used by desert nomads. Um, the interior of the shelter is surprisingly warm. There's a small stove and simple lamps burning ar aromatic whale oil. Carpets are heaped on the floor in thick layers tapestries from every culture hang suspended from a sturdy frame of whale ribs. Books and scrolls are stacked neatly on tables and reading stands made of hides and whalebone. The only furnishings in the shelter not made of these natural materials are the carpets and tapestries and a portable writing desk that appears to be, have taken from a sailing ship. Interesting. Seated at the writing desk it's a female tiefling wearing a blazing crimson cloak over tailor furs. The cloak is fastened with a silver and ivory brooch bearing a design reminiscent of a stylized branching tree, uh, the style of the arcane brotherhood. Two kobold attendants stand nearby, glancing nervously between you and the tiefling. After a few moments, the tiefling looks up with an expression of pale disinterest and asks, have you come to save me or kill me? Not that it will make much of a difference between the two. Are you the one they call Macath the Crimson? Yes, that is I. We're not here to kill you. We were sent here to find you. So, what's the difference? Sure. Your friends on the council in Waterdeep wanted you to 
return with us to there. Hold on, I'm getting you some artwork. Interested in a little warmer weather? This one's in Discord. <sighs> Unfortunately, I am a prisoner here. And I am afraid I am not allowed to leave. You, you can walk out with us. Like I said, death or freedom, they're both the same. Prisoner? From who? <clears throat> well, you may have heard of him as Old White Death, but the locals call him Arathotor. So this White Death, if you were to walk out of here, what would he do? Well, <clears throat> he's tried to convince me to be the master of his mate, <laughs> but she is not convinced. And I don't know how he'll do that. But until he convinces her, I am stuck here. Are you saying that there are two white dragons in the area? I have only seen Old White Death. I have not seen his mate. So if you can get them going steady, <laughs> then you can leave. <laughs> I'm afraid if they become in, if they find an, uh, an arrangement or an agreement, then I will become a servant to them and my fate will stay the same. Well... We were sent here to bring you back to Waterdeep, and that's what we intend. So We're also here to investigate something called the Dracorn. Have you heard of it? Yes, that's why I've come here to study it. Um, but about a year and a half ago, some humans came dressed in black robes and managed to negotiate with Old White Death. And they took the device away. The cult. Yes, I believe. So the, the Dracorn is not here, and it's it's elsewhere and in the possession of the cultists. Oh, boy. <clears throat> Trying to escape from this iceberg on ship. Probably be suicidal. The dragon would just fly up and attack us from the air. Are you saying that we're prisoners here now as well? How powerful is this dragon? I mean, this is just one of his many lairs. <clears throat> so, he comes here frequently since I am here, but it's also why the villagers live on top of this land according to my studies they are also indebted to him and must bring him food and sacrifices would defeating this dragon liberate you and the the people of this iceberg most likely are you intent on fighting it well it wouldn't be the first dragon we faced I would say, like, our, our primary goal is, like, you know, save people, and if this saves people, that would definitely align. Could we... It seems like the only option is to get rid of this dragon, but is there any way to, if we could avoid that, conceal the cat somehow? But I'd imagine only magical means could do that. So, as I sat here, I did see the trolls ring, run by. You took the treasure, didn't you? Of course. We did. We merely relocated it. <laughs> you think that was some magic? That was Old White's death, keen sense of perception. You think you can hide so, me from him? <laughs> that's, a, no, that's a no, I guess. I know dragons are clever. Well, how is this a younger dragon, an older dragon? What are we talking here? I imagine old and the title didn't get there on accident. <laughs> it's not young white death. <laughs> it's old white death, that's true. 
<laughs> so it's probably like a large dragon. Well, if this dragon is a tool or an ally of the cultist, then it is an enemy of ours. Seems like we have to destroy it. Would have been nice if the council had prepared us for this. I think they knew what <laughs> they were sending us up here to do. You're probably right, actually. Upper management never tells us everything. If you're insistent on fighting him, I may have some things of assistance. And and she rummages through no, her her desk and drawers and pulls out a ring and two arrows. Two arrows. Oh. Are these are these walloping arrows? These <clears throat> she looks at you, Poto, and says, "These are arrows of dragon slaying, and oh, the ring, nice. the ring resists the cold." Nice. Tell me more about these arrows. Um, hold on. What do you just want to know the stance on these? Um. Well, besides them having a fancy name, are they just arrows, or do they actually do something? They, like, do damage to dragons? Or yeah, they're... Damage. I mean, po Drax has a, a yeah, it's sword like of the long sword. dragon slaying. I'd like to think of the arrows of dragon slaying. Are, are yeah, cool. like, if you use it against dragons, it should add, like, whatever, however mm. many, D6 or something. So they have to do... If you hit the creature... Um, since it's an arrow of dragon slaying, they'd have to do a con save, and if they fail, they'll take um, 60, 10, or half if Ooh, they succeeded. Wow. That's a serious arrow. I think they normally cost like 30,000 gold or something, so. So I could sell them for 30,000 gold. Or they're, they're like <laughs> worth a lot, I know. If we live. If you'll live, yeah. I think it, I, it's a valid I point. Think it's, it'll be better to to shoot it. Well, Poto, I'm going to give you the two um, arrows. I'm assuming you want them. I mean, you can give them to Morthos if you want, but yeah. <laughs> you know, you know, Morthos and his and his you can stab with them. This is also true. That way, they won't just be two shots. So on the cath, would this be a good place to rest before we go after this white death? Um, I mean, right to the north of me, there's another entrance to him adjoining us, the scriptorium. Did anyone want the ring? I mean, this, you could... Yeah, more of those you can have it if you want. I'm 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 fire resistant, so being cold resistant too would be pretty awesome, especially if we're fighting a frost yeah. breathing, breathing dragon. But since if, I don't want to also like take all of the protection though. Well, with my rage, is anyone have... else like susceptible? Frost could probably take hit any one of us, so any one of us with the ring would be good because it'll be like a big blast of. Frost, it'll probably even get the archers, or who knows. Let, let's do a, a d20 roll, and whoever gets the highest gets the ring. Is that what you guys? Alright. There's my d20. Brad, you hail! Um, so. Brad, do you want to re-roll or no? Oh, I'm I'm passing on someone else. Okay, go. I got the arrows. <laughs> All right. Now, uh, Morthos, you'd be good with it because you're going to be up front. That's. I mean, that that strategically makes sense. I just wasn't trying to be. It might be a, little, a little chilly in the back though. The caster not want it. Yeah, but I also think like a dragon like spraying the entire room with ice, so it could affect anyone. So anybody with the ring would sure. Would right, that's benefit. why we left it to chance. Okay. I, well, McCath, I can rage, we, uh, so that kind of We, we mean me. you and your, your kobolds no harm. Can you inform them that we are allies? So we need to prepare for this fight. She uh, snaps her fingers, and then the, the kobolds run to her other side and, and start just organizing her shelves and, and books. So we started a whole bunch of combat. Can we have the kobolds come fight at our aid? Or at our side, I mean. 
Ooh, I like that. <laughs> Any help you can lend us will help you us get you out of here. She looks at you guys and she's like, kobolds aren't going to fight dragons. They want to be dragons. Most likely they'll turn on you if you're if they're there with you. Hmm. Unfortunate. All right, well, it's time for battle. I think we know what to do. Or we must do. I say our 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 real intention here was to find Macath and potentially find the the Dracorn. <clears throat> And since the Dracorn isn't here, Macath is, our only objective now is to potentially weaken the cultists by saving Macath and defeating this dragon. She goes, there's one more thing. I came here because Arathor attacked the town of Luskin, where the Arcane Brotherhood is, and he stole some of our magic items. I'd like those items returned. Could you be more specific which magic items they would be? <clears throat> a dragon mm. has a lot of loot. It will be hard to tell what we're looking for. Oh boy, now I gotta look in the beginning and see what he stole. If Macath is no kobold, would Macath join us? in her own salvation. Well, I am a mage, and I would like my items returned. So, if you need my assistance, I can help, but this would be in your it'll best be interest. quite dangerous. We will, we will fight with your safety in our hearts. But safety is not guaranteed. Of course. <laughs> Sign this favor. What do you know, <laughs> or Macath, what do you know about the dragon cult? The dragon cult, I know that they are trying to summon Tiamat and bring her back from the Nine Hells. And the dragon is being you... used to summon the rest of dragon kind. Would you know anything about, uh, a cursed sword, a, a mage wielded. I believe that's... Or who wielded it again? I've... It was... Oh, jeez. Um, Razmir? Uh, yeah. It was, oh, it was Razmir, yeah. It, it, the sword goes by the name of Hazor Hazor yeah, Hazoron. It's an artifact I have not heard of before. I'll draw the sword and show it to her. What do you, Does this look interesting to you? It stinks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I've noticed that. All right. Like spinning well. a troll butt. <laughs> I'll just put it away. It smells of troll butt. Well, I think we should go prepare for this. Are we doing this now or are we going to rest? Resting sounds like a good plan. I could get my key points back. I know we're all at full health except for... Drax took some damage. Yeah. Um, Quick short rest then, or? Yeah. I think a short rest would be. All right, let's just do a short rest here. All right. So, more than a century ago, this is McCat telling you this. I found, I found, I found the lore. Are you happy? Hey. More than a century ago. During one of the periods of draconic violence known as the Rage of Dragons, Arathorator, if I'm saying that correctly, joined with a dozen other dragons in attacking the host tower of the Arcane in Luskin. Their assault toppled the west arm of the tower, and Old White Death was seen scooping up numerous items of great magical importance and power, including the least, at least three tomes of rare spells. Mm. This possibility of recovering these books is what drew me here into the sea of moving ice. Interesting. It was on the first page of this whole dungeon. That's why I didn't remember. <laughs> it's not in this room. But good good ask there. Okay. How are dragons constitutions? Are Probably dragons? very well. Or very good. Yeah. Very well, yeah. Right. Yeah, that was bad. <laughs> 
Or I would imagine they're good. Or high. Let's see if I want to swap any spells over short resting, but eh. Silly question, but do we have to like take watches during short rest or no? No. It's like a half an hour okay. or an hour. Yeah. It's a power uh, nap. I think you're awake. You can be awake while you're doing a short rest. Like you're not actually I, uh, sleeping. To my understanding, like yeah, like a short rest is like you're just not. You're just like actively adventuring. Yeah, you're just like kind of relaxing. Exactly. Like, if you play the loot or something, that's what you're doing. Rodgers <laughs> goes in a trance while good berries drool out of his mouth. <laughs> And also, uh... <laughs> Maybe he does some sit-ups. Before we go in there, I'm going to cast a spell on you guys. So, make sure we don't just run in to... Stragons and still fear in people, so... How does Morthos feel about seeing another tiefling, or how does, um... Macath feel about seeing another tiefling? You should ask her. Maybe she might be into you. I can marry you guys. Oh, God. Listen, man, I got you got to walk before you can run. <laughs> As you guys are like taking a short rest and like discussing, like, my yeah, just seems more interested in her um, studies and work than what you guys are doing. Like, you know, Morthos, if you got her those books, so I stop rubbing baby oil over my muscles. <laughs> or if you got her those books, I'd imagine she'd like you. So. Listen. I'm I, not. I'm oh my, not. Oh, there, I'm not going to go. play any romance between McCaff and you. That's just not going to happen. <laughs> because then you're doing it with me, and I don't want to do that. Sorry, fade to black. All right, <laughs> you're right. We'll, we'll we'll save that for uh for our our OnlyFans yeah. page. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Listen, right. listen, everyone watching on Twitch, you gotta you gotta pony up the dough. Yes, subscribe to their yeah, premium yeah. channel for that. <laughs> we'll just sum it up to a charisma roll. I think it's just us watching on Twitch. Only because that is totally okay. I want to give somebody this plus two bonus to AC for seven days. So I got to marry somebody. That's funny. Wait, may maybe when it comes time for the uh, the team up battle. If you marry her really quick right now, you'll get plus two bonus to AC. <clears throat> Google's how to <laughs> convince someone to marry you that you just met. <laughs> Aren't you working on that already? <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> All right. Okay. Well, well um, I guess we. I, I took a short rest. Yeah, same here. Well, we should go head back to the cold room. Didn't you say there was a way in from here? Yep. They oh, did. also from the. Well, we can go that way then. I'm not really sure how this room connects to the other room. I mean, if it's underground tunnel, it could be there could be multiple entrances. Mm -hmm. Mac Macath, is there a time this dragon sleeps? Uh, I don't know his it? schedule, and he's mm. underneath this floor, so... Never hear him snoring. I hear it. Well, <laughs> if we alerted the um, Old White Death by taking that gold, chances he's are away. they're he, awake. He, kn he knows that you're in here. Yeah. And after seeing the tail and scales swim by, there's also a very good chance that he knew when we arrived, too. Mm. Yeah. Oh, and by the way, since you guys have Macath on your team, I'm gonna add her to the party. Oh, you're joining us, Macath. Macath's gonna fight for her. Who freedom. wants to control yes. her? Finally, we get the priest. Could could you do it, Vilder? I could, but I'm asking if anyone else wants to. Or we could all take turns or something. It should be open to everybody. Yeah, she yeah she's movable. Twitch the Twitch creator, he he would have more content. Yeah, see you all. <laughs> yeah, she's movable. Um, I I, I suppose it doesn't really matter, right? Yeah, yeah so it doesn't matter. She's got like sorceress and wizard spells. Since she's like a magic user, like one of the long range people, like could handle her. That makes sense. Let's go. Like Arahana or Pope. You could always take turns to just roll and say, this person is going to use her this time. Yeah. That works too. Where do you end up seeing your spells? So if you go to the... Oh, okay. Tab, you, can open up, you can open up her character sheet under Creatures and Rising Tiamat. 
You can also double click. Steward it. strokes. Oh my gosh! Um, a lot of time to see hip and eager, so friend though. Room. S strokes here. raiding party. This a billion zombies are on their way. They're coming from all no directions. Game. My god, they are billions. This is Thank you the so much for that raid, friend. Oh, how was your stream? What you play? Tell me some more, man. Welcome, welcome. Cobbled together Let out give of you a salvaged out wood, here. whalebone, pieces of giant armor, and even frozen limbs of yetis. A number of scrolls, books, parchments, and folios are carefully arranged on the shelves, are bearing the markings of magical writing. I've been good. I've been very good. Stay out of trouble. Magical writing. Oh, yeah. M Maketh has all kinds of stuff. Fireball, magic missile. Uh, oh, my God. She's decked out. Yeah. L L Lynn, you would, you would really enjoy playing as her. Let's, uh... What is all this magical writing on the wall? What does this do? <clears throat> she cautions you guys to say if, if you guys don't study the arcane that reading some of these are dangerous. But some of the items that are um, available here, if you think they are valuable or useful to you, are a couple good spell scrolls, gaseous oh, form, yes. paste, protection from energy, water breathing, Black Tentacles, Fire Shield, Wall of Fire, Hold Monster, Chain Lightning, and Disintegrate. Oh my god, those are all amazing. Take them all. <laughs> <laughs> or we should each have like a few or something. Um, I think like Haste or ga Gaseous Form. I mean, Gaseous Form is like almost like the planar thing that we did at the castle, which would be cool. Like um, more this. I mean, they they all they'd all have value. Yeah, you or I would do good with haste. Oh my gosh, go from like a sixty foot moving speed to one hundred twenty. I'm gonna write these all in chat, and then just please tell me who wants what. That makes I, more sense. Black tentacles and firewall. I have I know I have those spells anyway, but I don't have them prepared. And scrolls are like uh, consumable, right. right? Like once you use them, they're yeah. gone. The paper just like burns up. <laughs> I mean, I can fly. So um, if anyone else wants haste, I think that would be a good That'd one. That'd probably be good for me then. That, or gaseous form would be good for you to use to like possibly sneak up on the dragon, although I know it has really good senses. But Ooh, I, maybe a different one. But I don't know if Gash's form So, Erhana, you wanted tentacles and what was the other one? The wall of fire. Wall of fire. Protection from energy. Protection from energy would be good. I might need that if... Just write in chat so I can remember. I guess, okay. Okay, you have Wall of Fire and Ever's Black Tentacles. Does anyone want protection from energy? I was thinking protection from energy might cover cold. I'd have to read it, though, to see what it says. True. Because I was thinking that might be good for me if I'm going to run up. The last dragon dropped me. <laughs> I don't have, uh, or I, I have um, fire resistance, so fire shield wouldn't really benefit me very much. I think it would. Hold yeah. monster would be good for me. That way I could um, that would be good. punch the crap out of him. So okay. protect from energy and hold monster have my um, eye. But I, I don't gave want to take haste and protection also. energy to Sheros. Oh, uh, okay. okay. Let me read what protect energy actually covers. And do you want. I can already um, use your crack damage on people, so I don't need disintegrate. Because you have the ring, I think that might cover you for the cold. Yes, yeah, so this battle, yes. Oh yeah, so this is for the duration, resistance to acid, cold, fire, lightning, or thunder. So you could choose. Right, that's that's one thing. Like if you don't use it in this battle, keeping it potentially in the future could 
yield great benefits. <laughs> yeah, because I plan on like getting in this dragon's face. Same. So I'll probably need that, the energy one. All right, I'll tell you what. Um, I'll hold monsters the one that really has my interest. I think everyone else could really benefit from the other ones too. Our action sees them, so we should use them like before we go in to fight this thing. Macath, do you know exactly which chamber this dragon is in? He can move, so no. Okay, well, just so we can... Probably pretty big. Because knowing when we're going to fight it would be very helpful. I thought I gave you hold monster. Sean, where the hell did it go? Do you see it? Looking? Oh, there it is. Mm, consumables. Poto, do you want anything? Uh, take whatever the group doesn't use. Okay. Anyone else taking anything else before Poto claims the lot? Well, Gaseous form might be good for um, you, Poto, because wouldn't that help you, like, hide or something? Sure. I don't know. I actually already can have you a potion Gaseous can form, you so someone else can Gashes have it. Form? I don't know. I probably I should don't know. it. Little, little gas cloud with an arrow and a bow. <laughs> I imagine it would be good for like sneaking into where he is. I'm not sure. What happens if you're in gaseous form and it gets like really windy and you blow away? <laughs> Bye. Uh, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it's like the teleporter not working in Star Trek. You're just gone. I don't like that sound of that idea. Teleporter? You mean the, the suicide box? Is that what you call it? Think about it. Yeah, you do yeah, dis only the, dis only the disintegrated survives. and then put together, and it's a it clone, just, so you're dead. Clone, so yeah. is your conscious gone when you before you come back? Hard to say. Brady, Brady. Mechanically, no, but theoretically, yes. Sean doesn't have a conscience. What are you talking about? How long does this last? Nah, he's still got something. I don't see him sitting in a little inflatable pool yet. <laughs> oh, if the spell is on your class... Oh, you have to do, like, a DC <laughs> check to use these scrolls if you're not, like, a spellcaster. <laughs> just one day he's going to show up on stream just wearing his normal clothes and then a bikini on top of it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, if no one says what they're going to get and give them the rest to Poto, and then you guys can divvy it up at a later time. I'm going to use them all at the same time. Well, see see what Gash's form does. That could be good to sneak up on this thing. If it just makes your character incredibly gassy. Like, when you drink this potion, you gain the effect of Gash's form. Spell for one hour. Uh, no concentration required or until the end hour. of the effect of the bonus action. This potion's does. container seems to hold fog that moves like pores, and pours like water. Um, I'm reading what Gash's form specifically is off of 5e. Um, everything you're carrying, and of course yourself, is a misty cloud. Um, while this form targets, only method of movement is a flying speed of about 10 All feet. Right. You have five spell scrolls now, Poto. Gaseous form, water breathing, fire shield, chain lightning, and disintegrate. Yeah, just and... dis disintegrate this dragon. Um... Where's your encumbrance? Are you over now? You're over by five pounds. <laughs> the last scroll it goes in your hand. You're just like, uh. it's so heavy. The straw that broke the camel's back. <laughs> it's gaseous for. All right. Like a lot. Did you did you just <laughs> post? <laughs> well, I, I, I want to know what you searched to find that gift. Uh, that was just Fat Archer. <laughs> fat Archer. <laughs> okay. It's like having a tripod. It makes your shots more accurate. Your center of mass is lower. Now that you've gathered all your items and are preparing for battle, this is where we're gonna where we're gonna stop. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna say. I, I, I bolt for the exit. It. <laughs> <laughs> now, <laughs> stick to that, go. <laughs> Alright, well, good job, everybody. We didn't have to beat up like 
dozens of bad guys. We only had to fight two. That's depressing. Not bad, not bad. That's depressing. That's depressing. We wanted to kill all the kobolds. Hey, but Not then, the um, my Catherine would have been like, why did you kill you my friends? you guys really want to fight, like, kobolds over and over again? No. They have, like, no. five hit points. Goodbye. I mean, one room we went in had 12 of them, so, this is yeah. Kind of, this is kind we, of problem with this book is, like, since it's the first book before the Monster Manual was written, these encounters are just all over the place, and they just keep including kobolds sure. for fun, and they're like, man, they don't scale. But, but... We didn't like uh, immediately acknowledge them as like a threat, so now they are, you know. Yeah, yeah they're pretty. They're, they're pretty not. Harmless. You're not gonna fight with us, but they're they're not they're not bad. I'm feeling is how the fight's gonna go right there. The ice dragons is gonna just wreck mm -hmm. everybody. Time to watch Game of Thrones, everybody. <laughs> uh oh. Mm, I gotta get out of jail for guard board. Oh, you do. I always have a way to escape. You need to have contingency plans, my friend. Maybe I should. I'm, I'm, I'm maybe curious. Maybe I should open Fizzban's book and add extra stuff to this dragon. Hmm. Uh oh. We have some new books. All right, guys. Well, thank you all for playing. I'm gonna hop off here, and we'll have to catch you all next week. All right, guys. See yeah. ya. See ya. Bye, guys. All right, guys. We're gonna go yeah, to the outro screen. We're find some to raid together. And we will conclude this broadcast. Don't go anywhere. I have two black. We I will be right back. Are you still cold? The lesson I want you to learn is it doesn't matter what you look like. You can be tall or short or fat or thin or ugly or handsome like your father. <laughs> or you can be black or yellow or white. It doesn't matter. What does matter is the size of your heart and the strength of your character. All right, guys, I know who we're going to raid. I'm trying to... If I don't raid someone from Extra Life, I'm trying to raid people I haven't raided. And um, there's like a mental like list I'm trying to create here. So that's what the plan is. But with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and start a raid on our buddy, Robert the Knight. Robert the Knight is currently playing some Genshin Impact. Uh, Robert the Knight is a VTuber who's uh, basically like a virtual knight on screen. So just like a normal, boring webcam. But that is what... Who we're gonna go raid. I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that Pumpkin Jack shares some info in our chat here for us to copy and paste and take over to Robert the Knight's stream there. But that is gonna be it for me. Scarberry! Oh no! Long time no see, Scarberry. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I just got here. Well, better late than never, Scarberry. Welcome, fellow extra lifer. How are you? Um. I'm gonna go ahead and grab that stuff from my chat to paste over at Robert the Knight's broadcast. But that's gonna be it from me, Scarberry. Uh, as always, you guys, there has never been anyone like you. There is no one like you, and there'll never be anyone like you. Love yourselves, love each other, I love you. We'll see you guys all next time. Stay spooky. Good night. If excuse me, I get back my stuffy little coffin. We'll see you guys next week. Bye-bye. <laughs>